Okay, so I've created this short video just to talk you through uh, calculating a, a Pearson correlation coefficient. Uh, I know that some of you are finding this a bit tricky, so let's go through it step by step. Okay, I'm going to use the example in the textbook because uh, then you can, if, once you understand that, then you can apply that to the example that you're using um, from Appendix B or the example that I've given you. Okay, so you're going to have a few columns of numbers and that's how you start. So you need to first of all just, uh, you've got your column of subject numbers. You don't really need this. The only reason for this is to show you what your n is and n is simply the number of subjects that you have. So n is 20. Then you're going to start off with a column of scores for the first variable. So in this case it's TV viewing score. So you just write down the column of numbers for each subject. Then you square all of those numbers. So here's x, here's x squared, so for example, 0 times 0 is 0, and if we go down to the bottom, 6 times 6 is 36. Now the other thing to do as you're creating these columns is total them up at the bottom. So we've got the total then for all of the x scores is 60, the total for all of the x squared scores is 234. Okay, so there we've dealt with uh, the first variable. Now we'll deal with the second variable. And so in this case, it's an SAT score, and so we have a column now of SAT scores and the total at the bottom. Then we're going to square each of those, so 500 times 500 is 250,000, 550 times 550 is 302,500. Anyway, so the same logic, just create the column of, of Y squared scores. And then the final column is just to uh, multiply the X score by the y score. So if we take the first one here, 0 times 500 equals 0. Uh, 0 times 515 equals 0. 1 times 450 equals 450. So follow the same logic, work your way down the column, and then at the bottom, add them all up so you get a total. So th that part I think is fairly straightforward. Um, then you're going to actually plug your numbers in to the formula. And this is where it gets a little bit trickier if it's been a while since you've done arithmetic, uh, remembering the order of operations. So we'll just go through this one step at a time. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is multiply n times the last column, the sums of x and y. So that's your number here. All right, so just uh, multiply that, write that number down right there, and then the next number that you're going to multiply is the sum of x by the sum of y, and you're going to write that down here. So you've got two multiplied totals here, and you're simply going to take the first total and subtract the second total. And that's the top, that's the numerator of your um, formula. Okay, so you're going to do two sets of multiplication here and then just simply subtract the second from the first. Okay, th things are a little more complicated in the denominator, but you can work through this one step at a time. Now, what you have to remember is that the things that are multiplied or squared happen before um, subtractions. So what I would do here is I would first of all um, do 60 times 60 and write that number inside brackets. Then I would multiply 20 times 234 and write that number inside brackets and then do the subtraction. So you're going to do um, 20 times 234 minus the, s the 60 squared. Okay, and if you do that, you will end up with 1080. So you can check your work there to make sure you've done that right. So you're going to do everything in the left-hand set of brackets first. So see these little square brackets here? You're just going to work on those numbers first, and then you're going to do the same thing with the numbers on the right-hand set of square brackets. So first of all, 9815 squared, write that number down in a bracket. 20 times this other huge number here, 4 million something, write that number down in a bracket, then subtract the second number from the first number, and if you've done it right, this is the number that you'll end up with. So put that down, that's your other right hand square bracket. Now you simply have to multiply this by this, and take the square root of that number, 
and then you can do the rest of your calculation which is divide the top number by the bottom number. So you just have to work through this one step at a time and usually when people uh, have trouble with um, formulas like this it's because somewhere the arithmetic has gone wrong. So I would use this, I would work through this and make sure that you have the same numbers here as it gives you in the textbook and then just apply the same logic to the example that you're working with. So uh, don't be afraid of the numbers, um, just work through it systematically step by step and if there's any trouble um, post where you've got so far and then I can help you with going the rest of the way. Okay, I hope that helped. Alright, bye for now.